Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. Oh, boy. What a day it's been. A lot of big energies today. This is intense. Uh, I won't really uh, elaborate too much, really, but I had to deal with a lot of family things today. And, um... It went as good as it could have gone, though, I think, so far. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Today I came across a piece going through the old archives that I felt the need to share with you. More importantly, I need to share it with myself. Again, I need to remind myself of the message I wrote in this a few years back, I guess. Three or four years ago, I wrote this one. This is a bit of prose. Uh, so, yeah. I need to hear it again, so I'll share it with you. Consider the benefits of detachment. Emotional involvement should be guarded, but not the understanding of human nature. That is not to say one should continuously remain a casual observer. <clears throat> Bide your time and know your moment in time and the full nature of the context of it all and then, if so inclined, act accordingly. Know when to speak and when to listen, when to teach and when to learn. And most important of all, Learn when to shut the fuck up in order to stay out of trouble. Not all knowledge is for everyone to know, and some opinions are better kept to yourself. It is wise to avoid angry conflict. Always consider your audience and how best to reach them. Few people truly have free thought. Most follow one learned perspective and the logic that it entails and they do not like their beliefs or their rationale that goes along with those beliefs to be challenged. It's no wonder our species is still waiting on the great mass spiritual awakening to balance out our many ages of reason. Some can eternally awake in this life, but for the great many it cannot happen in this lifetime. Think for yourself and question everything, yourself most of all. This is kind of like affirmational information, if you will. <laughs> it's silly. I always rhyme when I don't intend to. Um, and I think it's information that should be considered by all. Hold your tongue. Think before you speak. You know. All that golden rule business. You gotta pay attention. And <laughs> you gotta pay attention to that kind of thing. Follow your heart. Do what you know is right. But don't be complacent in your... Uh, your own... Abuse, don't be, that's something I heard tonight on the, don't be complacent in your own abuse, I heard that on the Seth Meyers show tonight, they're in the Amber Says What segment, I loved that segment tonight, it was really impressive, she did a lot with wordplay, y'all should go look it up on YouTube, it was cool, anyway, I guess I'm rambling at this point, I'll get off here, yeah. In closing, spread compassion. That's what I would say. So I'll close with that. Spread compassion and it will be shown to you. In this time of Red Awakening, the whole reap what you sow, there's going to be more instant karma. 
Things are going to come around quick. And justice will be uh, will be a real thing instead of an illusion. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for joining me. And I'll catch you on the next one.